Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today I want to talk about the new DJI FPV system. So, if you've been looking on Facebook recently or on YouTube, you're going to know that DJI have now, official, well not officially, but they've put in the papers to the SEC for the new controller to the Goggle V2 and their DJI drone quad, if you like. It's a strange looking thing. Uh, but before we talk about them, I'm just going to show you the papers. So on your screen now, you should probably see the FCC data sheets for the Goggle V2, the Controller V2 and their Quad. Uh, I've put the links down below in the description. So if you open these up, you can have a proper look at it. You can read all the stuff if you want about it. Uh, it's quite sketchy. It doesn't have very much details, to be honest. Just, you know, that they're now coming and they are saying they run on 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz that's to be decided how that works i don't know how that works maybe it'll be 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi for ota updates which would be make sense and would be a great in uh, inclusion but that's as much as we know so far the pictures you can see of the drone itself in the box the box to me looks like it's been photoshopped that does not look a genuine box if you look, you probably can't see on the picture you're seeing, but when you look at it close, it's quite a small picture. You can see shadowing on the different boxes they've used to enter them in. It's not even a good Photoshop job to me. But the drone itself and the goggles in that box do look real. And the controller on the front of that is something that's been kicking around for quite a while on the internet. These different pictures. So, for a long time now, it's been rumoured the goggles V2 would come out. I wasn't a believer they would. I honestly didn't think they would because I didn't really understand why they'd release a V2 so soon after a V1. It didn't really make any sense. And they're still a bit sketchy on, the, on what we know about them. But we'll talk about the goggles first. So what I expect to happen in the goggle is a HDMI outport and some enhancements inside. Maybe they're going to change the lenses. Um, maybe they're actually going to change the actual screens. Now, if they went to OLED, that's going to be a huge step. So if they got OLED HDMI out, then the price of that thing is not going to be 549 anymore. That's going to be more like 699 I'd imagine. They're not going to sell the OLED screen for the same price they were selling the V1s because the DJI at the end of the day. I don't think that'll happen. And I'm not even sure if they'll put OLEDs in here. I don't know. I, again, it's, I'd like to see OLEDs in there and I'd like to see HDMI out. And I'd actually like to see analog included. Now, have they included analog in this goggle? Because that would make sense. If this goggle now give you the ability to have analog, that would be great. But there's various reasons I don't think they're going to do that. The main one being, I don't see why DJI take a step backwards. Because moving back to analog is a step back. There's a lot of people still like analog. I don't mind it at all. I now prefer to fly... Uh, DJI, I definitely prefer HD, there's no doubt about that. And anybody that flies DJI is going to sell you the same thing, that the image quality is so much better. You're not going to get that out of a, the shark bite or anything else that's coming out because it has to have true digital. So that's the goggles. And I expect them to be quite minor. I'd be quite shocked if they put all that in there. I think they'll be quite minor. I think HDMI out will be one of the, HDMI out will be one thing, and I think they'll have some, some maybe enhancements in there. What I don't know. The controller you can see in the picture you saw in the picture is been around for quite a while. That picture there's actually a video of someone holding it, um, and it could obviously makes sense to make that controller because it's smaller, and I can guarantee that will be cheaper to make than the one they currently have. Uh, if you saw, I did a video on this not long ago on this because I had a problem with my DJI transmitter, failed, and I had to buy another one. I showed you the inside, it's quite a lot of stuff going on in there, a lot of things. I don't really know why you'd need them, but I think they have taken some of the functionality out of that controller and put it into them goggles, and I think that will also be a big difference because I don't think that all that technology can fit inside of that controller, especially the big the big board they've got and the super huge fan that they've got cooling everything down unless they found a different way to cool it of course the one thing i worry about with that it's not going to have full throw gimbals because they rarely do these um xbox type playstation controller type ones i don't mean anything derogatory to them controllers at all because i had an x light i loved it but you don't have full throw on the sticks and if you're used to flying full throw so in other words you have the full movement of a stick 
if you have a smaller stick and then a smaller gimbal you're obviously not going to be able to move that stick as far the quad is going to react exactly the same but it's not going to be to me i can't fly as smoothly as i can with large gimbals but that is my personal thing so down to the quad and um, this will be the biggest talking point i'd imagine because it doesn't really make any sense the quad they've built certainly isn't built for freestyle and I don't think it's a racer because it doesn't look like that's going to take an impact very well at all. You can see the, the picture, the top shell's made of plastic and that's not going to react well to hitting a wall. And I just can't see that happening. The rumours are that thing's got a 4K 60 frames per second stabilised gimbal. I don't think it'll have a 3-axis gimbal. I think it may have a simple up and down mechanism but I reckon it'll have stabilised footage inside using the technologies it obviously have in the... Osmo Action. It's easy for them to do. They've already got that technology there and that camera unit would probably fit in a drone. That's what I think will happen with that drone. I think the drone will have returned to home and I think will have a massive GPS function. I think it'll come and land at your feet if you want it to do but it'll also fly like an FPV quad. And I don't think the two mix very well. I think they're totally different things to fly. If they put all that technology in, is it going to fly like a true FPV racer or freestyle quad? Or is it going to fly like a DJI Mavic? If he managed to get the combination right on the both, that would be amazing. I think that's not that easy to do so. So I, I particularly think this will be a cross, a crossover. It'll be easier to fly than a normal FPV quad. I think it'll have maybe altitude hold even. All these things aren't really FPV for the purist. And for me, I probably don't think I'd want it because... I can't, you can never say never can you but to me it's not something that I think I'd crave after so on the internet and on forums I've been reading a lot recently because I've studied this I haven't made a video on it because I wanted to make it I was only going to make a video when I thought it was real and I now do believe it's real and it's coming I think it'll be out in the next six to ten weeks it could even be out before Christmas I think its price point's likely to be fifteen hundred dollars around thirteen to four if it's fifteen hundred dollars Knowing DJI, it's probably be £1,500 as well because the pricing makes no sense whatsoever. If it's that price, it's gonna it's expensive, but it's an all-in-one kit. Now, here's the thing people have been saying. This could kill off the rest of the FPV industry. DJI have now got what they wanted, which is a stranglehold, and they're going to make a drone, quad, a system that's theirs and proprietary. The battery certainly looks proprietary on that Quad, I will tell you, because it looks like it takes a, it does take a six S battery, but it looks like it's definitely proprietary, which is not a good thing. So all these things add up to that's a possibility. So you want a beta flight, for instance, that'll be ready to fly out of the box. You want it to plug it into beta flight, and moving forward, everything will link into that new controller and that new goggles, and maybe that's the way they're going to go. They'll c keep creating quads as they do drones, and you'll upgrade your quad, or you'll buy another one. There's a couple of reasons I don't think that'll ever, that's going to happen. I don't think it's going to be that way. I think the controller and the goggles are going to be backwards compatible to the air unit and the Cadix Vista and everything else that's out there. Because they're still producing air units and they're still producing Vistas. And I know there's been a lack of Vistas around, but that's nothing to do with the stopping making them or stopping selling them. That's just due to the fact they're so popular, they sell quickly when they hit the market and people want them. Um, so I think they will be backwards combat compatible with the air unit that's already out and so you'll be able to use them moving forward that way. I definitely think that'll happen. So here's a question. At the minute that's sold as a combo, no one's got any pricing on anything. So obviously you'd imagine in time after the combo's released, they're going to release the goggles separately, the transmitter separately and the quad. Now here's the thing, will the quad be released? I'm not 100% certain that quad Will be released separate. It'll be released separately, but I think that may only work with V2s because I think there might be something in there that the GPS now all the other functionality may only work on GP, on the V2 goggles and V2 controller. Backwards compatibility doesn't mean that everything is going to work on it moving forward. They could still make stuff moving forward that works specifically on them. So they could build their own drones, which is fine. Quads, and they can go ahead and do that. That doesn't bother me in the slightest, as long as I can keep getting air units and I can keep getting Vistas, I'm happy with what the system I've got. I'd love OLEDs, but if their goggles come out at £799 or something like that because they've got OLEDs in, I wouldn't upgrade. I wouldn't. I don't see us 
probably getting 400 from my goggles second hand and then spending another four or so three or four hundred to upgrade just to get the OLED screen to me it's not going to be worth it and it will be viable and I won't be doing that I'm certainly interested in the new controller but I won't buy one because I prefer they've just said the full throw of a main controller so for me I wouldn't be interested in buying it if the quad came out separately and it was 350 pounds and it flew with the other with the mark one stuff that we've already got then i might be interested but it certainly won't be for doing fpv or it might be for doing just some flying but hence i've got a mavic pro 2 why would i want that it, it's difficult and, and it's difficult for me to sit here and say because we both know there's a good chance i'll go buy it when it comes out i certainly won't be buying the package that i can guarantee not not if it's that kind of money and i you can't see it being any lower or not much lower. Let's look at it this way. The goggles are 549, the controller's 299, so we're already at 849. The drill, let's say it's three or four hundred, it's gonna bring us to eleven to twelve hundred, and then you've got a battery for the drill. It's all adding up and it's all starting to get expensive. So I can't see it being much less. And especially with new technology going in there, they're gonna put a mark upon it, and that's what DJI do. Someone made a comment. Uh, today I think it was on the video I did what is it worth upgrading the Mavic 2 made a really like, good comment the comment was they've become like a phone manufacturer the new models come out it doesn't mean you have to buy it but it's there if you want it people change from iPhone 11 to a 12 but the difference is that that massive but they go do it and it's exactly what DJI have now started to do with quads the only thing they haven't done is it, the DJI Mavic 3 Pro 3 hasn't come out yet, but when it does come out, I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing 18 months yearly updates. I honestly wouldn't. Is that greed? Of course it is. But they're in it to make money. Everybody is. All I care about is, do I like the goggles? Do they fit nice on my face? And do I get a good image out of them? And I do. And I like the product. So. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Let me know in the comments what you think. Would you buy them? Are they worth the money? Would you think about investing that kind of money in something like that? If you're new to FPV, would you consider getting into FPV at that package if that package was less money? So, anyway, have a fantastic day, but most of all, stay safe.